Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is the Word with Joy. My name is Nemo Wari and I'm super excited that you are here today to spend the next, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes with me. Um, I appreciate you all who have subscribed already and are tuning in every Tuesday and Thursday. Truly, I pray that God is blessing you and it is being a source of encouragement and inspiration for you. And if you haven't already, come on now, come on. It is time, it's about time. I think it's about time to subscribe go ahead and subscribe click on the notifications bell so you're notified whenever a new video comes up and as usual of course if you truly are blessed by the video click on the like button and also share with your friends your family members whoever you might think would need this okay all right so god bless thanks again we are going to continue with the value of a soul i just love it i love it because it makes me so valuable and i'm like oh is this what i'm worth is this why oh wow i mean yeah, you just have to really think about that. Like, you're so valuable. You, that one person, one, one person is valuable enough to God. And this is why. We're going to talk about why. All right, before we're going, prayer. Prayer always. We set the Lord before us. He's always on our right hand. And therefore, we will never be moved. We shall not be moved in Jesus' name. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we truly set you before us today. It is the day that you have made. And... We shall rejoice and be glad in it, Lord, as we speak about your word, as we go into your word. Oh, my Father, I pray that it will truly resonate with each and every one of us, myself included. When we hear your word, it will ignite in us that which you have already deposited and will receive strength to live a victorious life in Jesus' name. To your glory, to our benefit, and to shame the devil always. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. So the value of a soul. Ah, we talked about last time how Jesus was like, your soul is priceless. Like, the whole world is not enough. It's like bringing $10 to the Apple store. You're not going to buy anything, okay? Nothing. There's nothing there. There's 10 bucks. And um, I'm not an Apple person. I am. I love Android. That's me. Well, Apple is like so super overpriced that I guess, you know, people can resonate with when you say Apple products because it means uh, too, uh, too much money. Um... <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, so we're going to continue to, okay, so so the, you know, the earth is not even good enough to purchase your soul. Why is this? What is in the, the, the in the, um, in our soul? What is it? What is it? Right? And I just want to tell this quick story that would, I guess, make us, um, you know, make us uh, understand a little bit, like the analysis of it. Uh, so I plan weddings and so there's a wedding that I have planned, I'm planning that have been moved like from 2019 to 2020, 2021, you know, because of COVID and all that. So it's coming up, it's coming up. And um, the bride had made some upgrades on the decor. I don't do decoration. Um, I'm the overseer of all the other stuff. So there's a decorator who we work with. And the invoice kind of went up because of the changes. And we had to have this like hour long discussion with the decorator to like break it down. Like, okay, so why are we paying this much more? And we were going like line by line these flowers cost that we're now using these flowers is more this table is this size we're now using that one it's a bigger table we're now doing this and this is a different picture here's a picture of what she wanted before here's a picture of what she wants now and it's different this is the cost of it now blah blah blah, blah. so we went through everything and it justified it was like oh now i see what what the added value is why we're paying more because of these changes that have now made it to be like upgraded right and it's going to be beautiful, guys. Don't worry, I'll put it up when it happens later, later, later. It'll be beautiful. Um, so, similarly, it's like, okay, let, let's break it down. It's like, just like, oh, this soul is priceless. Yeah, like, what do you mean, Jesus? You mean, you mean I can't, like, sell my soul by, like, getting the whole world? The world is amazing. This world right here is beautiful. It's a beautiful world that God made. I, I want this whole world. Take my soul. I want this world. And Jesus is like, hold on. Let me break it down about your soul your soul is too good your soul is just amazing like don't no let's let's break it down now why is your soul priceless okay so we're gonna go through a lot of verses today so um, try to be quick we'll see first of all go to the very beginning right genesis 2 7 which we're all familiar with this is the creation of man and it says here in genesis 2 7 and the lord formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. Unlike every other thing in creation, you know, even that the fish was like, he told the seas, bring forth the fish. It's like the water just kind of like made fish, you know, 
oh the air should like produce birds of every kind like what he didn't take time to like sit down and put the feathers in and the beaks and stuff and the fins it was like just be coming you guys do your thing and be coming he didn't say let there be man that was the only person that he was like you know what Let, let's do this let's like think about this let's like really like consider what we're doing here guys and like they sat down and formed the man formed the created molded him and not only that he then breathed his breath it says the breath of life like wasn't everything else alive think about that it's got to be different then this has got to be different like the trees you know according to science and what we can see trees are alive and animals are alive i have a dog she's very alive right but she doesn't have the breath of life it's different and it says man became a living soul this is the beginning of a soul it's the breath of god in us in man is the beginning of a soul and yes we're going to another bible verse job 33 i'm sorry 32 verse 4 Wait, do I have that right? Job 32, verse 8. But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. There's a spirit in man. Another ver um, by, um, ver version says the breath of the Almighty, which we already saw. He breathed in man, the breath of life, and he became a living soul, right? Now, also Job 33, verse 4 says, The spirit of God had made me, and the breath of the Almighty had given me life. This is what is in man. This is what is the soul. This is what is in our soul and made us have a soul, right? To become a living soul. Psalm 82, verse 6. Oh, I didn't open this one ahead of time. Hold on. Psalm 82, verse 6. And it says, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. One more Bible verse. John 1, 6. Let me see. Mm, 1, 2. Uh, 6, to, 6 to 9. John 1, 6 to 9. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness. To bear witness of the light. Big L. The light. That all men through him might believe. He was not that light, big L, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. You see that? The light of Jesus Christ. Who is Jesus Christ? Lighted every man that cometh into the world. Everybody. When God said... Let us make man in our image and our likeness. It wasn't let us make Christians. Okay. It was everybody. Every single human being. And right here we see it. The light that came and lighted every man that came to the world. As long as you're born, you have that light. The light of life that makes you a soul. The light of Jesus Christ that makes you a soul. No matter who you are. You might choose to dampen it and weaken it. By rejecting him, but the reason why you're alive and you're breathing and you're who you want that you have a soul is because the breath of the Almighty is in each and every one of us. That is what makes your soul amazingly valuable. It's like, I mean, if you think about it, right? The creator, so it's like the creator of the entire universe, not just the earth, the entire universe. He put a piece of himself in each and every one of us. So how can then the product that he has be equal in value to the person who made it, right? It's impossible. Like you cannot be like, I'll exchange you for this product, you know, but that's the founder. That doesn't make sense. Like, no, you know what I mean? Like you can't do that. Like that doesn't, it's not equitable. It's not like the value is not, it is, it's not equal. It's not equal at all. So if you made it, it's like I make bread or rice or soup or whatever. I'm definitely way higher than that because I'm the creator of that thing. So you can't now say I'm, you, my child cannot now exchange their life for that. Right. And say, oh, for, you know, I'm going to give my life away 
just i just want soup and that's it and i just want this bread and i just want this like no that's very foolish you are so much more valuable than that that's how jesus christ looked at it, it was like what can you exchange for the for your soul like what can you exchange for your soul you just you're i mean you me jesus christ the light we are also when you then be, believe in jesus christ and become a child of god he says you are the light of the world he has given us his light we are the light of the world, the salt of the earth. You're the one that makes it go. So what, why would you then exchange all of that for just, you know, the, what you think is a gain? Remember, you gained it. Was it profitable? No. So that is why our soul is so valuable. We have the breath of God in us. We are a living soul because he has put himself in us. We are a living soul because he made us in his image and likeness. Then for anything else is that is less than God, it's just not worth it. It's just, you're more than that. You're so much more than that. All right. Like for anything that's less than that, less than knowing God, less than pursuing God, it's just it's like no, I'm not gonna give my pursuit of God for you. Like no, like I have a little bit of God in me. Ye are gods. That's what the Bible said. Ye are gods. He has made us a little bit lower than the angels. We are gods. When he put us on earth, we have dominion. He said, be fruitful and multiply and have dominion on the earth. You are gods. We are gods. We are. God is in us. And that's why our soul is so valuable. We have this great, amazing, creative force of God living in us. When we have received Jesus Christ. Remember, in John, if you keep going, it says in verse 12 of John, for John 1, for as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So yes, you can have the light by being born. That's the first being born. But when you are, when you believe in him and call upon his name and believe in Jesus Christ, you receive power to become a son, like an heir, like somebody who is like, okay, I'm legally allowed to like take charge in this place because i am a child of the most high god and the enemy knows that he knows that but he wants us to always be quiet and not know and not speak our authority or live in our authority he wants to steal our joy and steal our blessings but we are already sons of the most high god daughters of the most high god and we will continue to walk in that inheritance in jesus name so we're going to stop now for now i'll definitely be back as you know you know, the videos don't, it's not like one or two, right? It always like, we, we had a couple more. So I'll be back to talk more about the value of a soul. Because you know what? Even though Jesus is like, what can you exchange? Uh, yeah, there are things that people are exchanging definitely for their soul right now. We're going to talk about that and talk about why that is so grievous. So obviously, being that we are children of the most high God, we are made in God's image anything else of course is a grievance to him like what are these children doing you know god will help us in jesus name all right so thank you so much for tuning in as always this has been a pleasure i pray you've been blessed and um have a wonderful and amazing day this has been the world with joy my name is nima worry god bless you and i'll see you next time all right take care bye bye